Hello everyone, this is Ry the Mans here, and this is my first time making a video on Kaiju Horizon 5.0. And this game is pretty new. It just released this month, actually, in December. And um, it's pretty fun. And they just released an update today, adding Cherno Alpha from the movie Pacific Rim. Um, if you don't really know too much about kaijus and such, and you really just only play the games, you might recognize Terminal Alpha from the other Roblox game, Kaiju Universe, but he does originate from the movie Pacific Rim, which is pretty good. If you haven't watched it, I would watch it. It's pretty good. But, other than that, Terminal Alpha is probably one of my favorite, uh, Jaeger, which is what they call it in the movie, Jaegers. He's probably my favorite one from that movie. And my favorite Jaeger in general. And, uh, yeah. Cool guy. Anyways, on with the showcase. As you saw his idle animation already. This is his idle animation. This is his T Roar. This is his R Roar. Pretty cool. Uh, this is his walking animation. This is the running animation. Those are just the basic animations. We'll get onto the death animation later. Uh, Cherno Alpha is actually so far the only kaiju in the game that cannot swim. So that's interesting. It makes sense though. Because he couldn't really swim in the actual movie. More so just walked on the sea floor. But anyways. On to the attacks. This is the LC attack. That is the LC attack. Um, uh, after each consecutive attack, I will tell you ways to use them in combos and such and such, and how to use them properly in combat. So, for the LC, I would recommend using this if a kaiju, like Heisei Godzilla, or Godzilla Ultima, or Shinagawa Kun does a charge attack into you, because you get super armor for the first uh, attack. Uh, super armor is when you can't get stunned. You don't take stuns, but you still take damage. You, you're unstunnable, but you still take damage from it. Lots of games use it. Uh, not just Roblox games, like a lot of other games as well. But yeah, Cherno Alpha's first attack does uh, has uh, super armor, but the second one does not. So be careful when using it. Um, if you get stuck in a position where you can't, where their no enemy is not stunned from your first LC, I would recommend doing the first or fourth attack so you can get the super armor from that as well. The first and fourth attack have super armor too. I'll show that in a minute. But yeah, if a kaiju, it's a good way. If a kaiju or another player is running into you, you can just go ahead and use it. It's a good way to get them off of you. And uh, get them into a combo, maybe. But, yeah. Um, for the first special one attack, the one attack is this. This one also has super armor. That attack does a good amount of damage. I would also, recommending, or also recommend using that if the kaiju is running into you. And... Um, it has super armor as well, so I'd recommend using it if a kaiju is running into you. Sorry if I'm, uh, I apologize if I'm stumbling on my words a bit. Um, but anyways. Yes, I would use the first attack for if someone, or if another kaiju or another player is running into you. It's a good attack to get a good amount of damage on them, and it's good to use after a block break. It also goes, does good damage. I would not recommend using it after the fourth attack. Uh, we'll get to the fourth attack later, but that also does uh, stun damage, which stuns them for a couple seconds. But all in all, 
good damage attack would recommend use if their opponent is uh, has their block broken. It's a good attack in general. I would recommend using it. And on for the on to the second attack. This is the second one. Accidentally missed there, oopsies. But the second attack also does good also does good damage and as you see it goes pretty far. This and why it distance why it's like I went a pretty good fair distance away from the Hisei Godzilla dummy, yet still didn't manage to land the thing. So it gets pretty close. Let's do it from around here. Yeah, so as you saw, you have to get pretty far away from the opponent to actually use it. But there is ways to use it so you, you maneuver around them and then ultimately land the hit on them. I'll go ahead and show that when the two attack is up. Any second now. The weight is unbearable. Okay. So you can also try to use it like this. Just run in the opposite direction and then at the last moment turn towards your enemy so that your land your hit will go onto them. I would not I would not recommend using it up close because it's hard to get it to land up close even with the maneuvering. I would use it at a medium distance or a long distance, just do not use it up close because it's not good that way. Like this. I would also I would also like to tell you that this does not go through blocks, and I should also mention that the first First, second, and fourth attacks do not go through blocks, but the third one does. The third one does not stun, but we'll get to the third one in just a second. Um, for the, the second attack, I would, of course, recommend, as I said, I would recommend using it at a long or medium distance. Medium distance, maneuvering a bit so you can actually land it onto your opponent. It does good damage. But do be wary, it is a medium risk, medium reward kind of situation because it does good damage when it lands, but it can be blocked. But the thing that after it's used, it does have a good amount of end lag. Um, if, you, if the end lag happens, you'll be vulnerable or open to more attacks, which could not be very good because there's some kaiju that attack very, very fast, like Ava 01 or uh, Heisei Godzilla. Like, please, one more time. It's a solid enough attack. It's not his best attack in his kit. I'd say it's probably the best one in his kit. is uh, probably his fourth one, which we'll get to in a couple minutes. But yeah, the, the second attack. On to the third one. Now this is the third attack. That was the third attack. That's the one. The third attack, as I said previously, does not do any... Does not have super armor. Um... Apply to it. excuse me. The third attack does not have super armor applied to it, so I would recommend using it in succession after the fourth attack. But if you want to be a little risky, you could use it in a combo with the LC like this. If your opponent has a if the if your opponent's kaiju has a quick attack move like. Mecha Godzilla kick, Mecha Godzilla's kick, Ava Zero One's kick, or Godzilla Ultima's counter. Um, I would personally not recommend using it in a combo like that because they could just as easily just hit you back really quickly and get a combo off of you as well, which is not good. So, on to the fourth attack. This is the fourth one. Now, the special factor about the fourth attack is that it does a uh, longer stun. It does temporary stun for two seconds, I think, or three, or four, or five. I think it does it either to two to three seconds. So, I think, personally, it's the best weapon in Cherno Alpha's kit, besides his LC. Um, his LC and his fourth move are his best attacks, but all of his attacks are still pretty good. Or solid um, but I'd recommend using the fourth one in face tanks the most because it can deal stun and it has super armor and also does pretty good damage like this I'd also recommend using this in succession you can use the fourth attack and then the third attack 
uh, such as this. So the fourth attack cooldown is up. Okay. He can use it like this on an opponent when they're up close to you in a face tank. Doing the fourth and then fifth attack, which does a pretty good amount of damage to your opponent. Uh, pretty good for damage. Would recommend using it in a face tank. If your opponent is not stunned from the electric stun, because sometimes that can happen, I would recommend using the fourth and then fifth first attack they cut i would recommend using the fourth and first one or the fourth and lc because they both have armor like this i'd like to add on real quick that i like that the lc has uh reverb this game does a nice job of making you feel like that your hits actually hit like they do have a nice amount of weight to them that's not the point though um, you can also use the fourth attack like this. That also does a pretty good amount of damage. Alright, on to the next move in Cherno's kit. We are down to two moves. Actually, before I get to the F and X attack, I should show you the block animation. Forgot to show that earlier. It's holding up his fist. Getting ready to take a hit. One other thing to note is that Cherno Alpha is currently the Kaiju with the highest health stat in the game. And he has the least amount of shield block. He only has 75, probably because two of his moves, or three, I should say, have super armor. Which makes sense, that's fine. Though, it is pretty easy to break Cherno Alpha's block. So... If you're going against a Eternal Alpha player, I would recommend doing your best to try to range them or just exploit the uh, in leg that some of their attacks have, because that can be used against them very, very harshly. Uh, Kaijus that do counter Eternal Alpha in some way or Gorosaurus, Eva-01, and uh, Gigan in Kiryu. All those Kaiju can counter Eternal Alpha. Um... Now on to the F attack. I've rambled for a little long, but it's important information that you should know while playing Trino Alpha. Um, but the F attack is probably his third best move in his kit. It's a good ranging option. Here it is. Obviously he does his flamethrower. The flamethrower does really good damage for what it does. And I say it's better than um, 1954's F attack which is also like a stream kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure if it's better than Obsidius's. Obsidius' little breath attack comes out way faster than Cherno's. So I'd say it's better than 1954's, but no, they're not better than uh, Obsidius's F attack. This move can be good. It can be good in good use after the fourth attack, like this. You know that the enemy has a time to block that attack. Um, the F, as I said before, first, first, second, fourth, and F attack can be blocked. Beside the only ones that can't be blocked are the uh, X attack and third attack, as well as the second hit on the LC. The first hit on the LC can be blocked. I should have mentioned that, but the second one cannot. But that one does not have super armor, so be wary when you're doing it. Uh, the, again, this is the F attack. It's just good for general raw long range use, and I think it's better one of the, probably one of the better ranging options in the game, besides beams, obviously. Uh, Kiryu, I'd say Kiryu and Heisei Godzilla's beam are probably the best ones. And, um, on to the last thing for today, we have... The X attack. This is the X attack, so here it is. Now that was the X attack for Cherno Alpha, and it's a pretty decently strong move. 
Um, I would recommend using it if another kaiju is charging up their rage attack. Um, if it's taking too long for them and they can't really aim it, like the giant octopus or Gojira 1954's rage attack, uh, I'd recommend just getting out of the way instead of using your X unless you don't have the time to. But it can be used to block other kaiju's rage attacks. So I'd use it in that kind of situation. And if an opponent is stuck, like, beaming you in the face or something, or they're stuck in the middle of a charge, I would use it then. It's a very good damaging move. And that was a pretty fast uh, charge up, or pretty fast pull down, so you can use it, like, 10, 10 or 20 seconds after its first use, which is pretty fast. Uh, most other ones take a while to use the fastest one to use after its cooldown is probably Gore Sources, and they need to nerf that, honestly. But, other than that, um, that's gonna wrap up the showcase for today. Oh, never mind, I forgot one thing. Um, Cherno Alpha's reset animation is set. He looks so sad when he dies. It makes me sad, because I like Cherno Alpha, he's cool. Um, for skins, we'll look at skins real quick. Uh, in the menu, the the uh, I don't have pure gold yet, unfortunately, because I have not grinded him enough. But I do have alpine. This is alpine. It's just a pure white skin, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's not my favorite skin of the game, it's not my least favorite, there's better skins than that, there's worse skins than that, it's a good skin. But it's not the best skin. Um, but yeah, that'll go ahead and wrap up the showcase for Cherno Alpha today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.